Okay, let us uh, discuss now our next topic, which is the MPLS header. Uh, let's see quickly what is there in this uh, MPLS header. Let me grab my pen quickly. Okay, so this is the MPLS header and uh, the <clears throat> size of the MPLS header is 32 bits or you can say it is of four bytes. So the first 20 bit in that uh, 32 bit uh, header is, it is the first 20 bit is uh, reserved for the, the label value, right? So uh, we had 20 bits. That is why you can see the uh, range of label is from zero to one, zero, four, eight, five, seven, five. So in that particular range, label from zero to 15, they are reserved labels, okay? So the assignment of labels uh, will be start from, then normally it will start from 16, you can say. So from zero to 15, the labels are reserved. For example, if I give you a quick example, uh, let's say label number zero, which is called the explicit null, which is used for a type of service, or you can say the quality of service. The label number three, which is called implicit null. We will see in our next lesson, uh, what exactly is this implicit uh, null label, uh, label is. So first 20 bits that are used for <clears throat> the uh, label values. The next three bit earlier, they were uh, known as the experimental bits, but now these are called the type of service bits. Or we can say these are used if we are also using the quality of service, right, into the MPLS. The next bit is the S bit, which is called the bottom of stack bit. What does it mean is that in MPLS, uh, we can have uh, more than one labels, okay? So if the value of this bit is one, it means we are use, we are having more than one label, okay, in the pipeline. But if we are using, uh, or if there is zero uh, in, in this bit, S bit, it means we are uh, having only one label in the pipeline. So we have 20 bit here, three bit here, one bit here now, or we are left with eight bits. So eight bits uh, in MPLS, these are uh, used for the TTL. So the use of uh, TTL here in MPLS is also same. That is, uh, it's like the uh, IP packet. Like in IP packet, the use of TTL is uh, to avoid any loop in our IP network, right? So uh, here in MPLS also, the use of TTL uh, is same, but we will do a separate uh, lesson on that, how exactly this TTL uh, propagate in, uh, into the MPLS uh, network. So this was all about the MPLS header. It was of, uh, it's of 32 uh, bits. And the placement of MPLS header is just between the layer two header and layer three header. So that is why sometimes it is also referred as uh, 2.5, just because of its placement. So in the next uh, lecture, we will discuss about the basic flow of uh, the labels, how the labels are generated and uh, how the traffic is switched using those labels in the MPLS, MPLS network.